Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I make banana muffins for the children at school. So I'm going to start with all the ingredients that we need. Butter, one egg, three mashed bananas, half a cup of sugar, one and a half cups of flour, and if you would like, you can add chocolate chips. You don't need to, but you can, or you can add some nuts if you like, whatever you prefer. Oh, and also we need uh, one teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna show you how I make them. I'm, again, this is something that we do at school and I usually let the kids help with the <clears throat> mixing of the ingredients. They might come to the kitchen with me and watch that we put them in the oven and then come back to the kitchen and see how they've baked in the oven and then we get to eat them for snacks. So it's a whole process and it's learning and kids love to do things in the kitchen. Even if you just give them some flour and water to mix together in a bowl, they love creating, making messes. If you have an area and you don't mind cleaning it up, kids love it. So I've already put my butter in my bowl. It's a, a third cup of butter. And now I'm going to add half a cup of sugar. And then you mix that all together. You just mix it until it's all mixed and the sugar is all mixed in with the butter. Then you add an egg, one egg. And you mix that all together. This is a pretty healthy recipe because there is only half a cup of sugar. So that's not a lot of sugar for the amount of muffins that it makes. And then it's got bananas in it, which are healthy for the kids. Chocolate chips, not so much, but it's also nice that they think they're getting a little treat. Next, you take three bananas and you mash them in a bowl. And I did that prior so we could save some time. So I'm gonna add the mashed bananas. Now, when you're making muffins, it should just be mixed. It doesn't need to be smooth. Like if you're making a cake, the batter needs to be really smooth. But with muffins, you should expect it to look lumpy. So just, they call this folding. So you fold the ingredients in just so that they're mixed together but not really smooth. So next I'm going to add the flour. So we need one and a half cups of flour. One, two, three. And at the same time I'm going to add the baking soda. So one teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm just gonna do the same. I'm gonna fold that in, fold it together. I'm not gonna mix it with a mixer or make it really smooth. I'm gonna show you how it looks, that it looks quite lumpy. Now this recipe, this is how it looks. So it's not smooth at all. It's actually quite lumpy when it goes in, but they come out delicious. And for this recipe, I am gonna add chocolate chips because I'm gonna give them to my boys and they like chocolate chips. In it. So just however many you want. I usually put in about half a cup of chocolate chips. Again, fold that together like that. Now this recipe can make either 12 large muffins or 24 mini muffins. So I'm going to do the 12 large muffins because my boys are bigger, but for the kids at work, I always do the smaller muffins. I actually made some prior so I can show you them when they're finished. So first of all, I greased this. I used a cooking spray and I greased the tray and you set the oven to about 350 degrees and then, uh, put all the mix into the trays, put it in the oven. It takes about 
20, 25 minutes. It depends on your oven. It takes a little less time for the smaller muffins, but everybody's oven's different, so you should always check. So this is the finished product. I made some larger ones, and I also made some mini ones. So this is a good treat for the kids, and they'll like it because they helped make it, and your house smells really good. So here's the recipe. I'll hold that up for a minute. If you want to take a freeze your frame and write that out, or if you, again, um, if you want me to send you this recipe, you can just, um, actually, I hope that's not coming in backwards. It probably is. Here, let me take a picture of it the other way. Anyway, I can message you the, uh, send you the recipe if you, uh, want to make these with your kids at home. So enjoy. Bye.